Hello, boys and girls, Screen913 here, and welcome to book four of Let's Read Lone Wolf, The Chasm of Doom. Uh, and you will get to vote this time. Yes, I'm so sorry about book three. I was bored. I had nothing to do. So, but this time, this time, you will get to vote on stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? We all know the drill by now, I think. The story so far... Ruanon is a remote mining province to the south of your homeland, Summerland. Nestling between the sullen peaks of the Durncrag and the Mackin Mountains, the people of this province have long prospered from their toil in the ore-rich mines, living and enjoying their wealth under the protection of their lord, Baron Vanalund. The gold and gems that are mined at Ruanon yield an important source of revenue for, to your homeland. The heavily guarded co convoy of wagons that leave the province and journey to the capital has become a regular monthly routine. A routine that has never been broken until one month ago, when suddenly all contact with Ruanun ceased. A troop of 100 cavalry from the King's Guard were immediately dispatched to investigate the whereabouts of the missing convoy. Their commanding officer, Captain Duval, was ordered to report back to the King as soon as contact was made, but he and his men have not returned. They, too, have disappeared without a trace. The king has summoned you, Lone Wolf, the last of the Kai Lords, to his citadel at Homeguard. Your quest is to find Captain Duval and his men, discover what has happened to the missing convoy, and uncover the veil of mystery that now hangs over Ruinan. The king has gathered a company of border rangers, an elite, a unit of elite scouts, all of whom are skilled in horsemanship and or outdoor survival. He has orders that these 50 men are to accompany you in a hope that you, with your leadership, they may succeed where the larger, more visible force failed. You know, uh, a force of 50 and a force of 100 are both pretty visible. <laughs> Just saying. As you and your men enter the royal armory to equip yourselves for the long ride ahead, you glimpse a black crow perched on the window ledge high above. It flies away, but not before a shiver runs down your spine. In home guard, the crow is a bird of ill omen. Now, I like this book. Uh, this is a good... I like them all. I really don't think there's an adventure I, I don't like. But uh, this one's a lot of fun. This one is... Um, like, where the last one was a lot of traveling and trekking through Iceland trying to uh, find Vonatar. This one is tons of combat. <laughs> Lots of combat. It's, it's really cool. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Alright. Game rules... We know the game rules by now, don't we? Don't we? Kai Disciplines! It's time to vote on Kai Disciplines, folks. We already have Animal Kinship, Camouflage, Hunting, Healing, Mind Over Matter, Sixth Sense, and Weapon Skill with a Broadsword. We are already acquired all of these, so you only have three choices this time. Why? Because we are becoming a badass. <laughs> you have the choice between Mind Blast. Well, hang on, let me just, uh... You have the choice between tracking. This skill enables a Kai Lord to make the correct choice of a path in the wild, to discover the location of a person or object in a town or city, and to read the secrets of footprints or tracks. Uh, might be useful for us trying to find lost convoys and such. Maybe, maybe not. We have Mind Shield. Some of the hostile creatures in Magnamon have the ability to attack you using their mind! The Kai Discipline of Mind Shield prevents you from losing any endurance points when subjected to this form of attack. Can always be useful. There's always at least once in an adventure that this is helpful. Um, and we have Mind Blast. This enables the Kai Lord to attack an enemy using the force of his mind. It can be used at the same time as normal combat weapons and adds two extra points to your combat skill. Not all the creatures encountered in this adventure will be harmed by Mind Blast. You will be told if the creature is immune. So basically, unless the creature is immune, it'll add two to our combat skill. These are the three choices we have left. Choose wisely, young Padawans. Uh, because, you know, you, you should do so. And... Equipment. Before leaving home guard on your right south, you are given a map of the south lands, lands, lands which is... Uh, this map right here. Let's see. We have uh, home guard right here. We're in book two. We were traveling down the road this way. We were actually traveling down to here. We're going down this way, southwards, uh, over here to the Mackin Gorge. All right. A 
badge of rank that you wear upon the sleeve of your tunic and a pouch of gold. We already have 50 gold, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> we don't need more gold. We did not spend a single gold crown in the last book. Why? Because we were in a frozen wasteland. All right. You may pick, uh, take your pick of the following items, in addition to those you already possess. But remember, you may only carry two weapons. You may take up to six of the following. Wow. All right. Warhammer, dagger. Don't really need those. Two potions of lamb's fur. Each of these contain uh, uh, enough to heal four endurance points. Uh, a sword, a spear, five meals. Each uh, special rations count as a meal. Take up one backpack space. A mace, chainmail waistcoat, adds four points to your endurance total. Shield adds two points to your combat skill when used in combat. All right. All right. Let me see. Hang on a second. Food, equipment, backpack, special items, gold crowns, food, potions, and for Okay. It doesn't say anything about wearing leather under the chainmail, so we'll just say this. If you guys choose chainmail, we will give up the leather armor. All right? All right. So we already have leather armor that adds two to our endurance. You could get this chainmail that will add an extra two, uh, which is a total of four. So how do I do this? You can vote for any six. I guess I will just put everything up there and let it, well, everyone vote for what they want. Um, now, the potions of Lanfer each count as a backpack space, and I should point out, we still have a potion of Lanfer plus four, a potion of Lanfer plus five, a, a potion that increases my combat skill plus four, and a rope that takes up two backpack spaces. So we only have um, one, two, three backpack spaces left which is, could be used for meals, potions, etc. I just want you guys to keep that in mind um, when choosing. Uh, so, I will put these uh, up there to vote and uh, vote for what you think we should take. And, um, oh my God, we could take six. So we could technically take one, two, three, four. I mean... If we took everything that would be useful, that's still only four, and then some meals. I mean, God, I really don't know if we need to vote on this. Why? What's the point, right? We can take six of them. So might as well take, like, the two potions of Lamb's Fair, the uh, chain mail, the shield, um, and then take some meals until our backpack's full, right? Uh, I mean, I don't see a reason to vote on that then. So why don't we just stick to, uh, stick to voting on the Kai Discipline? Don't worry, there will be some books where your equipment is much more important. But, God, they gave us six, so... We already have a broadsword and the summer sword, so we don't really need weapons. So let's leave the voting out for this one, and let's just concentrate on what kind of skill you guys want. Alright? And then what I'll do is I'll take two more potions of lamb's fur and a meal. Because we have hunting, so we don't really need meals. Especially since we're not crossing any wastelands, we should be able to get plenty of food. But we'll take a meal just in case, and so we'll fill up our backpack. So we will be really good to go. Because we'll be able to uh, heal a total of 21 hit points if we so need to. And we actually might in this game. Plus, we can use the shield to increase our combat skill by 2. Alright. Uh, next. You guys know how combat works by now. Alright, you know the level of training. Kai Wisdom, your mission will be fraught with danger, for you are about to venture into the bleak and hostile wildlands of the south. Use the map to help you plot your course to Ruanon. Make notes as you progress through the story, as they will be a great help in future adventures. Many things that you find will aid you during your adventure. Some special items will be used in future lone wolves, and others will be red herrings of no real use at all. So be selective about what you decide to keep. Uh, there are several routes to Ronan, but only one will enable you to reach the mining town of, with Fine Captain Duvall with the least amount of badassery, which is probably not the true route we will be taking. Alright, good luck everyone. Uh, vote on the Kai Discipline, and next week we will start the Chasm of Doom. I will see you all later. Take care. Bye.